Welcome, I'm Faith Harmer of Faith and Team with Urban Nest Realty. Today we're in Boulder City at St. Jude's Ranch for Children. We're meeting Christina Vela, who is the Executive Director of St. Jude's. Come with me and let's go meet her. Christina, a lot of people confuse St. Jude's Ranch for Children with St. Jude's Hospital. Can you tell us about the difference between the two and what it is that you do here at the ranch? Sure, thanks for asking that question. People do get us confused with the hospital and certainly they do amazing work, but we are not affiliated at all with, with the hospital. St. Jude's Ranch for Children for over 52 years has been a community that's committed to hope and healing for children that are victims of abuse and neglect. And what that means is here on this campus in Boulder City, we have um, residential homes for children. And in those homes, we help them overcome the effects of abuse and neglect while hoping them, helping them create new childhood memories, um, getting support that they need to overcome that abuse through therapy, um, and a whole array of services to help our kids really um, overcome that abuse, but yet, you know, just be like regular children. They're out playing and having a good time, but they're in need of specialty care. It's such an amazing um, gift that you give these children. Um, I know when I was visiting you once before, I asked, you know, uh, where do the children come from? And you were telling me about, a little bit about Safe Nest and um, I believe that's what it was called, child, so, child haven. haven, oops, sorry. Yep, child haven. <laughs> you were telling me a Domestic little about child yeah. haven. <laughs> yes, um, and the need for uh, more foster homes and stuff like that, so. Yeah, unfortunately there are a large amount of children and young people that are living um, in Southern Nevada that are in need of foster homes meaning they are a victim of abuse and neglect. And so we at St. Jude's Ranch for Children for over 52 years have answered the question of how can we help. It was so interesting to me that you had mentioned that there was 160 children currently at Child Haven and that's supposed to be a temporary yeah. place for them to land. Yeah. And how you want to make this about your yes. You want to be the yes person mm -hmm. to consistently help everyone who needs help. Yep. The other thing that I really loved that you told me about was uh, the young mothers mm -hmm. that you're helping and you're training them. They have to get used to taking their babies to daycare and then go to school so that when they get out in the real world, mm -hmm. they have a system down. They know what it is that they're supposed to do. Right. Some of those things really stood out to me when we yeah. talked last time. Well, thanks for, you know, um, for sharing some of the things that were important to you. We feel like we're a pretty extraordinary place for young people. So we're a big gated community here in Boulder City and we provide an array of homes and experiences. But really there are children that um, when they first come into foster care, they go into an emergency shelter. And we know that being in an emergency shelter should be short term if, if, if there's even a way to avoid it. We want children to um, feel safe we want them to feel as much as it's a scary time to be coming into foster care, that they can go to a place like what we offer here at St. Jude's where they immediately feel welcomed. It's a home environment, so it's not an institution. There, you know, all of our houses are designed like any one of our own homes where there's, you know, bedrooms and a large dining room so everybody can have dinner together. And we feel like it's through those experiences that children start to learn that, you know, there's a different way that they can live their lives, including the specialty populations, like you mentioned, our uh, teen moms, yes. our pregnant and parenting teen program. Um, our moms, you know, they have a commitment. They want to be a good mother, but they need to learn the skills. And that's really where we offer everyday opportunities for them to learn new skills and put those into practice. Yes, and just so you know, it, this is on 40 acres, mm -hmm. and it's more like a resort mm -hmm. than um, you know, just a place that they're going to go stay. It's got a swimming pool. Uh, you get the view, beautiful views of the lake. Mm -hmm. um, it's just fantastic. So I'm going to go into a little bit deeper question for you. What is your why? Well, that's a great question. I think there's two words that explain the why of St. Jude's Ranch for Children, and it's hope and healing. 
So we know that the effects of child abuse can have a long lasting effect on the lives of children and young people. Mm -hmm. But we believe that there is a way to help children heal from those effects through high quality um, therapeutic services. And we wanna help kids heal by learning new coping skills, right? So there's a lot of things that happen when you're a victim of abuse and neglect. And so it's not easy to deal with the feelings and the, the frustration and maybe the sadness and so, our whole focus is on helping children heal from that, you know, from those effects of abuse and neglect. The other word is about hope. It's can we help children feel better about, you know, the situation, right? Can they have hope for a better day? Uh, we do a lot of focus on education and um, activities and helping kids find the things that motivate them every day, right? So do they love to ride their bike? Are they really good at it? You know, do they have a skateboard? If they're younger, they're older, we, we, we're always trying to figure out what are the things that, you know, give kids a good sense of hope that tomorrow can be better right through the work that they do today that you know they've got to do the work mm -hmm. but that tomorrow there's a better day for them and they have some control over their life That's and their right. choices and and what they learn mm -hmm. it's such a wonderful thing that you guys provide here it's really awesome thank you so how could our viewers help what can they do to help either just contribute with the children. I know you've got career day here too sometimes, so you can um, let people explain to the children what they do, what it's like in a uh, day in the life of, mm -hmm. and then maybe trigger something um, that they may want to grow up to be or do. Yeah. Well, it's a great question. How can people get involved? So there's so many different ways. The first thing I'll always say is that, that you know, be a good support to children in your own life, right? So be a good mentor, you know, help kids that are in your neighborhood. Um, all of the kids in our community could use positive adults in their life. So that's always, no matter where. Um, here at St. Jude's Ranch, there are always opportunities to get involved. Um, we've got the big 40 acres. We've got lots of things that we do here on a regular basis. So folks can come out and volunteer their time. They can do um, big corporate events here on our campus. There can be team building where a group of 30, 40, 80 people can come together and help us, you know, paint some walls or, you know, sort some donations. So there's there's no shortage of things to do here. And then there are things that we can do with children. So we can host barbecues and, you know, get togethers. We have great pool parties here. Um, but then, you know, more, um, you know, things like helping them build skills. So through career day and lots of opportunities. I mean, really, there's no shortage of opportunities to get involved here at St. Jude's Ranch. And so we tell people, call us, right? Let's brainstorm what ideas you have. So, you know, people can check us out on our website, which is stjudesranch.org, and learn more. You can call me or any one of my staff, and we would be happy to put together an event or an opportunity for you, your staff, your family, your friends to come and um, enjoy, you know, the community of St. Jude's Ranch for Children. You guys have a gala coming up here soon, a big dinner event which uh, Faith and Team plans on getting uh, one of the tables for 10 mm -hmm. so that we can support St. Jude's. Um, at all of our client appreciation events, we always get little gift cards from our clients and then donate it because we really believe in your cause. So would you like to tell the viewers a little bit about your gala? Like yes, thank you for asking about that. So on October 19th, um, it's a Friday evening, October 19th, 2018, we have our Night of Stars Gala. And the Night of Stars is a long-standing tradition of this organization in partnering with local entertainment to help give back to the true stars, which are our children and young people that we serve. So um, we've got information on our website. There's lots of opportunities for sponsorships and activating people's brands with us. And we expect to have the room sold out, 350 amazing influencers like you and your team. Um, so getting, you know, there's this opportunity to share uh, people's brands and companies with us, but really to come and support uh, the work that we do at St. Jude's Ranch for Children. It is sure to be a fantastic night. We're gonna have lots of great entertainment and some of our youth are gonna be there and perform. So oh, that's nice. gonna be an amazing evening. A nice so. black tie event. So yes. girls, we can all get dressed up that's and go. Right. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Christina, for having me today. I really appreciate your time. Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm so happy that you came. But before you go, let me show you around a little bit. Okay, great.
Oh, wow, look at this view. It's beautiful out here. Welcome. Isn't it so amazing? It's stunning. It is really amazing. One of my most favorite things to do is to listen and watch the kids in the pool, you know? Oh, the when laughter. Right, when you've had like lots of stuff happening in your life and, and you might not always be in the best mood, it's all neutralized by jumping in the pool. Absolutely. So That's everything here today. So make sure you follow St. Jude's on social media. Back to you at the studio.